Pete Buttigieg traveled to East Palestine, Ohio today, exactly three weeks after the train derailment that spilled gallons of toxic chemicals on that town. The visit also comes as the NTSB releases its initial report on their investigation. And Tia Ewing is in Studio 32 with details on that. Natalie and Anthony, let's talk about what was revealed in that report released by the NTSB today. The crew operating the freight train did not receive a critical warning about an overheated axle until just before dozens of cars went right off the tracks. 11 tank cars carrying hazardous materials derailed nearly three weeks ago, causing a major fire and chemical leak. Federal investigators are focusing on the tank car design and also the maintenance records, along with a home surveillance camera that showed the train passing by moments before the wreck. The NTSB chair says while the crew did nothing wrong, the derailment was preventable. We've talked to community members who are suffering health effects, have pets who've died, have damage to businesses and homes. But I can tell you this much, this was 100% preventable. We call things accidents. There is no accident. Today's preliminary report coincides with Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg's trip to the crash site. He has been criticized for waiting 20 days to get out to this scene. The NTSB will hold a rare investigative field hearing to learn more about this derailment later this year.